Hey everyone, welcome back to VNA Crafts. It's Ethaned, and today I'm going to be showing y'all some really delicious brownies. I'm not sure if any of you guys are fans of brownies, but I like brownies. I just always feel like it needs to have like some nuts inside or a fruit or something. It has to have something other than just chocolate. I mean, you can even put some chocolate chips if you'd like, but I always feel like it has to have something in there and I don't think that there's anything better than walnuts or raspberries and these brownies just turn out so delicious with adding raspberries or walnuts and I'd like to show you guys how to make them so if you do want to know how to make them then keep on watching. You're going to need one cup of flour, half a cup of butter, softened at room temperature if possible, one and one third cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of instant coffee, uh, that is optional, it just helps bring out the chocolate flavor, but it's completely optional if you want to exclude it. You're also going to need one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, two and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, two eggs, and 10 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you'd like to make these brownies vegan, you can change the butter up to vegan butter. I am actually using vegan butter. And I'm also using vegan chocolate chips. I'm using the brand Enjoy Life. And you would just have to exchange the eggs for flax eggs and you're good to go. All the measurements and ingredients will be in the description below. Right now what I'm doing is I am putting some parchment paper on a square mold. I'm using a 9x9 and I put a little bit of cooking spray to help the parchment paper stick. And also so none of the brownie mix sticks to the parchment paper just to be on the safe side and you're gonna want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit in a small saucepan you're gonna want to go ahead and add your butter and you're gonna want to add your chocolate chips as well like i said i'm using these semi-sweet vegan chocolate chips from enjoy life and they are vegan they are gluten-free and they are actually free of a lot of other things like mentioned here, which is awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and add them to my saucepan as well. Like I said, you're gonna need 10 ounces of this, and you could also save it a little bit if you'd like to have uh, small chunks of chocolate chips in there. And you're gonna wanna put this on medium low heat and keep an eye on it until it is completely melted. You can decide to leave little chunks in there if you'd like, but just make sure that the majority of this is melted. In a large bowl, you're gonna go ahead and add your sugar. You can decide to sift it as well, just to make sure there's no lumps. You can add your eggs, and you're gonna go ahead and add your flour, your cocoa powder, instant coffee, and salt, and the melted mixture that you just did with the chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little bit of this just to drizzle off onto the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all really well until it is a thick consistency and it is well incorporated i only want half of my brownies to have walnuts but if you want your entire brownie mixture to have walnuts or any nuts or any other toppings then go ahead and add them in at this time then i'm going to go ahead and transfer this over to my square mold I'm going to go ahead and add it in and spread it out evenly. And like I mentioned, I only want half of my brownies to have walnuts, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop a few on half of my brownie mix and I'm just gonna press them in a little bit and then with the spatula just kind of go over them just to make sure everything is a little bit more even. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven for 40 minutes to bake. And I know that that might sound like a long time but I promise you it is totally worth it. Once your brownies are done baking, I'm going to go ahead and transfer them over to a cooling rack. And I'm going to let them cool for about 10 minutes just to make sure that they're not too, too hard to handle. 
Once they're done cooling, I'm gonna take some of that leftover chocolate drizzle that I melted earlier, and I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top of the brownies just to give it a little bit more deliciousness to it. And I'm gonna mainly add it over on the left side because that's where I'm going to top my raspberries and I want my raspberries to stick to the brownies. So that's where I'm mainly going to add that. Then I took some raspberries and I just cut them up into little slices and I'm gonna go ahead and add them over to my left side. Once you're done adding your toppings, then they're ready to enjoy. Alright guys, so that is how to make brownies. It's not too difficult. As you can see, there's a lot of these ingredients that you probably already have at home. So making homemade brownies from scratch is so easy, so delicious. This is a recipe that I think is so easy and I know, I know it takes quite some time to bake in the oven, but I'm telling you, they are so worth it. and. You can leave them empty uh, with no toppings if you'd like, but I just feel like they have to have something, like I mentioned. And I think that both the walnuts and the raspberries are so delicious with the brownies. You can go ahead and add some more chocolate chips, like I said, or you can even add M&Ms or anything your heart desires. I just love the raspberries and the walnuts. They are so delicious. There is nothing to it to make them from scratch, and I'm pretty sure you guys have all the ingredients at home. So. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and make sure you comment in the comment sections down below to let me know what you guys would top these brownies off with. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and family so they can also make these really delicious brownies and they are so easy and homemade from scratch. And if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. That is it from VNA Crafts for today and I will see you guys later on this week. Bye! Bye.